Okay, so it's Tuesday again, and I don't know if YouTube is going to let me upload this video today, but I'm going to try. So, um, first of all, this week's topic is sorting yourself into Hogwarts houses. I've read all the Harry Potter books, and I've seen all the Harry Potter movies, which, by the way, I'm really excited for number seven. Last time at the premiere, we dressed up. It was fabulous. Uh, yeah, I was Hermione. And it was really fun, so I know a lot about Harry Potter. Um, but as far as sorting into houses goes, you've got the four houses. You've got Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw and Gryffindor and Slytherin, right? And they all have different characteristics. So I'm going to read for you the definition of each of these houses, um, because just so we have it clear. Gryffindor values courage, bravery, loyalty, nerve, and chivalry. Um, so basically like Knights of the Round Table kind of thing. Hufflepuff values hard work, tolerance, loyalty, and fair play. Ravenclaw values intelligence, creativity, learning, and wit. So being clever, basically. Slytherin, of course, values ambition, cunning, leadership, resourcefulness, and plus there's that whole deal of like being pure blood, which no offense, but I, I'm not. And uh, yeah. I took a bunch of quizzes, right? Because I figure if anyone knows, it's got to be the millions of people on the internet. So I asked a bunch of quizzes, and there were lots of questions ranging from what's your favorite color to more in depth things like would you cheat off of a test? Or if you found a wallet on the side of the road, would you give the money back? Or would you, what would you do with it? Almost unanimously, I was put into. Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw, respectively. There was a couple that put Ravenclaw first for me, and a couple that put Hufflepuff first, and then there were like two that put Gryffindor first, but I'm pretty sure that those quizzes were the ones that like put everyone in Gryffindor because I think that that's what everyone wants to be in. And then one quiz actually put me in Slytherin, which was really odd. I don't know why I did that. I honestly think that in the books, they kind of like, J.K. Rowling has this thing against Slytherin and against Hufflepuff. Whereas in, like, the real world, maybe that wouldn't be there if she hadn't, like, written all these bad characters in Slytherin and, you know, all that stuff. And you can sort of, sort of tell that she really doesn't value Hufflepuff that much, I feel like. I mean, the values that Hufflepuff has are very similar to what I have, like, equality and being, f like, playing fairly, you know, playing by the rules and giving everyone a fair shot and, um... I think that that's really undervalued in the books. I mean, Ravenclaw is really cool too. Like, I would totally love to be in Ravenclaw because, like, I really think that being creative is important, and I like solving riddles and stuff. But I don't know. It's between those two for me: Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw, and I just can't decide which one I'd rather be in. And you know, the Sorting Hat takes that into account: which one you'd rather be in. But I just can't decide. So I wish I had an actual Sorting Hat to tell me, but I don't. So. I guess I'll just have to go with the tests, which mostly say Hufflepuff. So we'll go with that. I'm Hufflepuff. Yay! And as for you guys, um, Sarah Marie, I definitely think you're a Ravenclaw. Because I can just see you going in and out of the common room all day long, just so you can solve more riddles. And I think each time you would get in, you would giggle a little bit, and then you'd go back out again, and then you'd solve another one. And I can just see that being like a daily hobby for you. So that's why I think you're a Ravenclaw. Jessica, I think you're probably a Ravenclaw too, but I don't really know. Um, I'm pretty sure I've heard you say you wanted you were a Ravenclaw before, so we'll see if I'm right about that. If not, then I'm sorry. <laughs> and Tori, I think I don't know. I think maybe you'd be a Hufflepuff like me. Maybe, maybe. I don't really know. But hopefully, I mean, I don't mind being a Hufflepuff. I think they're cool. I mean, I think Hufflepuffs are really cool. And besides, badgers, I mean, that's their mascot, right? Badgers, they're fierce. Everyone kind of underrates them, but badgers can be fierce. Hufflepuffs all the way. I don't know what else to talk about now. Because I sorted you guys, and I sorted me. It's Tuesday. Mention that. I guess I could talk about my week. I got a new song of the week from Starbucks. I'll show it to you right now. It is Angelique Kidjo, and the song is called Cold Sweat. See, right, right there. Ish. 
Anyway, so I don't know what it sounds like yet, but I'll have to listen to it and let you know if it's good. Um, and I'm dressed up right now because I have an interview today to be an RA next year. It's my second interview, which you would think would be a good thing, except that everyone gets two interviews, so it doesn't really matter. I hope you have a good Tuesday. And it's halfway through February, almost, sort of, kind of, almost. I can't wait for spring break. It's going to be so exciting. <sighs> now I'm just rambling and I don't know what to say. That's Tuesday. Yeah, okay, now I'll stop. Bye.